Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you how I intend to plan my upcoming school year and what I use, like the tools that I intend to use. And this is kind of different because if you've um, watched any of my videos before, you know that I've taken a very simple approach in the past. And while I intend to continue to do a very simple approach, I am using a different tool to do it. So in the past, I've always just had created my own little template and as a Word document. But this year I decided to give an actual planner a try. So I've never done this before. I've had just little worksheets in each kid's uh, binder. But then I started realizing that each kid had their own planner um, paper in their binder. And I was writing a lot. You know, I only like to plan a week at a time because I never know what things are going to come up. If we want to have an impromptu play date, an impromptu, you know, when we were down in Myrtle Beach, an impromptu uh, trip to the beach. So, um... I don't plan out my entire year all in one sitting. I like to have a generalized idea of what I need to get done, but I don't plan my entire year all at once. So I would sit down and I would write each week's assignments um, in each kid's binder. But I started realizing that there was a lot of repetition because their Bible, their science, their history was all the same. But yet I was writing it in Gabriel's and I was writing it in Isaiah's and Ezra's and Eden's. And all in all, that's not a lot of time. But when you have four kids and you're trying to teach all those different grades, all that time really starts to add up. So I decided instead of writing it four different ways that I just wanted to have a planner where I would write all of the assignments for all the kids, whether it was all of the subjects that we do together or their end of a individualized subjects all in one place. Because here's another reason why I was doing that. The kids themselves weren't really looking at their assignment list. It was merely for me. I was the one that was making sure that they had done the work and I was crossing it off and checking it off, off out of their binder every day. Um, you know, for the most part, the two younger ones, you know, they weren't readers at the time. And so they weren't really going to be doing a lot of that. They were only doing the things that I put in front of them and sat by them and made sure that they did. Now the older ones, yes, they could have been checking it off, but they really weren't. I was just checking in with them periodically throughout the day to make sure that they had done all their work. So if they weren't using it themselves, I was essentially just doing all this extra writing for nothing because it was just for me. So I decided I want to try something new. So enter the planner. Okay. So I'm using a simple plan and this is, um, it's a homeschooling planner and it is by Mardell. So you can find it actually, you can find it on Amazon. We happen to have a Mardell Christian store that is close to us and I actually bought it in store, but you can find them online, um, either from their website or from Amazon. And so this is what I intend to use this year. And, um, other than just being aesthetically pleasing, which is much more so than the little black and white papers that I printed out on my own, um, I think it's just going to work really well. It's going to probably cut down a lot on time because I'm going to be able to put all of the assignments that, um, assignments or just activities that we're doing together as a family, I'm just writing them once. So I want to give you just a quick little glimpse into here um, and show you what it looks like on the inside. So I know a lot of times if you're ordering online, it can be really... Um, I don't know. You just, you're very apprehensive to buy it because you just don't know what it looks like on the inside, but these are pretty solid, like cardstock laminated and it has a folder on the inside, which I think is handy. So there's a little folder right here. And then at the very beginning you have, um, a, like one, a guide to help you plan. So, um, I can flip there to show you. It kind of gives you a glimpse of how you could use it, like an example. So these are sample pages. And so here, if you are wanting to create um, what each student's schedule might be throughout the week, it gives you a little examples throughout here. It allows you to also plan out a year. And so this might, they have enough for each kid and then for not just one for each kid, but each of the um, different subjects they wanted. So if you have, I for me, I have four kids and there's gonna be enough for me to do all four kids in here. So this is, um, this would be for one kid, they have Susie Ruth and this is just math. And so this is looking out and laying out math all together. I don't know. I haven't decided if I'm going to give this a try. I know I've shared before you, I, I don't plan an entire year at a time. So this will be interesting as to see if I can actually sit down and plan out when we should finish. And then maybe looking back and saying, Oh, we really didn't get finished at that time. 
we'll see if I use that one. I'm more using it for a day-to-day -day planner. Um, but you can do a month overview, um, any special activities that you might want to do um, during the month or to have available. And also just kind of like a month overview for like websites that you might be utilizing, whether it's for science or um, maybe some different videos that you want to watch for your kids, anything that they might need to research, whatever that is, prayer requests and answers a reading list. So the books that you might be reading during the month, I think I'll be using that one and then supplies needed. So if you're um, doing science experiments or art or whatever it is, any supplies you might need. They also have an example page. So obviously all these sample pages are things that are in here for you to utilize, but they're just showing how you could use them. This is a month at a glance. So you could put in any field trips or anything that you want to use vacations whatever you might be doing. And then this is more or less what I am looking forward to using it as. So here is an example page. And so what I'm gonna be doing up here is, you know, it has Bible well, up on here, maybe the top two or whatever are gonna be Bible, science, math, all of those things that all my kids are doing all together, that family learning um, education where I'm just teaching it once, but for all my kids, I'm gonna put up here and that's gonna prevent me from writing it in Gabriel's binder and Isaiah's binder, Eden's and Ezra's and so forth. I'm writing it once. <laughs> So that is going to be handy of being able to track what we're doing. But then I'm also going to be doing all of their individualized subjects. So their math and their language, you know, with Isaiah and Gabriel, some of their um, individualized electives that they're doing, things like that, where I'm going to be able to put down in there. And here it has an example of where you could use like initials to differentiate between each kid. But I am actually... Um, I got this set of pens and so I conveniently there are five colors and so black anything in my planner that is black is going to be something that I'm doing for all of my kids it applies to all of them but uh, my family is very much color coded and it works out perfectly for these colors of pen which is why I bought this set and that um, Gabriel's favorite color is green Ezra's favorite color is blue Isaiah's favorite color is red and Eden's favorite color is pink or purple depends on the day but purple is is in this pack so that is what it is so when I am writing down in this planner each kid's just gonna have their own color and I'll just sit down with their pen I'm gonna make sure that these stay with my planner so that I can adequately plan for each kid and then that way I just know this is this one I don't have to even write initials I'm just gonna have the appropriate color so that is the continuation and obviously the one downfall that I did see so if you like to be able to plan maybe you have an off day I do have some friends whose husbands, their weekend is actually in the middle of the week due to their husband's schedule. So you might have to cross out, this is dated. It's not, um, it has each day listed as Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and those are dated. So if you are taking your weekend in the middle of the week and maybe you do school on Saturdays and or Sundays, you might have to adjust that a little by crossing things out. Um, or if you just want to be able to have an option to do school, I, I suppose if you wanted, you could put some things over here or maybe attach it at the end, but this is only a Monday through Friday schedule. So I will say while we oftentimes have been known to maybe do something on Saturday when my husband works, so some occasionally he does have to work on a weekend and when we were um, traveling away from family, it was kind of like, well, if, if daddy's going to work, why don't we just do some work too? But when that happened, he usually had a day off in the middle of the week, which we wouldn't do work. So it might be, oh, he had Friday off, but I'm going to put Saturday's work under Friday. We'll adjust if we need to when we do that. So those are all the sample. Oh, sorry. I lied. Those are not all the sample pages. There actually are some curriculum. So if you want to jot down all the things that you're using for each kid, there's a list for all the curriculum on both sides of maybe if you want to put on the cost too, so you can keep track of how much you're spending. A lot of times I don't want to know how much I'm spending. And then also on the back, there is a calendar where you can have an attendance and it even kind of gave you a little sample down here. If it has a slash through it that was a day that the kid was present if you have a circle it was a day that they were absent and then if you just put a line through it that was like a holiday or maybe a vacation or something along those lines so if you're in a state which requires you to keep attendance for your um 
you know, when you're reporting to your school district, that would allow you to do so. Um, this is going to be what I end up taking next year for our homeschool assessments because it's going to have a list in here of all the curriculum that my kids used. It's going to have a list of all the books that we've read. It's going to have a list of all the books that my kids read. It's going to have all of the assignments and all of the progress that they made throughout the year. Um, obviously, it'll be in addition to their individual portfolios, but this is actually going to be like the brains of everything that we accomplished throughout the year. So once you have all of those sample pages, it moves into your own planning section. So it's got a tab and this is actually where you start putting all of those papers into practice. So these are more of the annual, the yearly ones at a glance where you're going to look and make sure, okay, if we have 36 weeks, how do we accomplish all of your math lessons in 36 weeks? How do we accomplish your language arts in 36 weeks? What weeks are we taking off? When are we going to finish kind of thing? And then you start moving into the actual monthly. So this is gonna take you to July. So um, this is where you're actually doing those weekly pages. So they're blank, they're ready to be filled out with all of the assignments that you're gonna be doing each day in those weeks. And obviously it goes through all of the weeks and then until you get to the student records. So this is where you have your attendance and curriculum. And this is where you're gonna keep track of each kid. So let's see how many kids could you actually keep track of? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, you could keep track of six kids if you needed to in this planner. And then this is the curriculum tracker where you just have a sheet for the different curriculum that you're gonna be using. And then it has a grading chart in the back. These are just some extras where it tells you if, if you have this many problems and you got this many incorrect, this would be the percentage as an as suggested reading list for different grades. Um, also has the way of salvation, extracurricular activities, um, scripture options to memorize, just has some uh, common scripture memorization. Um, extracurricular activities and then just a few sheets of just plain paper for some notes and then it wraps up with another folder at the back. So that is my planner. It's the simp a simple plan from Mardell. Now I will share with you, I'm trying something out new this year as well and that is that I am trying to get Gabriel a little bit more independent and a little bit more in control of his own education. He is going into seventh grade and at that point I really feel like it's time for him to take a little bit of ownership and um and what he's accomplishing during the week maybe have a little bit of independence of determining when he wants to accomplish things and how he's and figuring out a plan of how he's going to accomplish them throughout the week so i went ahead and got him the student version of what i have i have here if you want to see the size comparison it is a little smaller i will say though it's still pretty thick it's not as thick because it's not going to have all of the planning resources for all the individual kids it just has room for himself so we had a discussion i honestly have absolutely no idea how this is going to play out um, Gabriel has never done this on his own before where he's planned it out, but I had a talk with him and thought, let's go ahead and give this a try. At some point you do need to learn the tools to be organized, to be independent and to stay on top of the things that you need to accomplish. I feel like middle school is a good, a good time to try and start that. So we're going to give it a whirl and I will keep you posted as to how this is going. It may flop and we might not do it again, but we are going to give it a whirl. This is how I intend to do it. On Sundays, when I am planning out and getting everything ready for my week, or at the end, you know, whenever we do it, we'll just, for this purpose, we're gonna say on Sunday. Sunday at some point, I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna plan out the entire week for all the kids. He's gonna come and sit with me once I'm done and I'm gonna talk to him about what I, what my intentions are for what I expect to him to complete during that week. At that point, he's going to pull out his own planner and you can see he has some of the same kinds of setup here. So this is just coming into August. Um, I will say this is the boy version. They do have a girl version, um, which is super cute as well, but this is the boys version. And so things here, he could write things to accomplish, special activities, websites, reading lists, prayer requests, and answers. He has some of that same thing. That's his August overview. 
he can put in here and this is his own monthly thing so he can put in here when he has piano lessons when he has youth group all these different things um, things that he wants to keep track of he can put in here as well that'll help him keep an idea of what he has going on this is where it leads into just his week by week schedule and so um, it looks very similar to what I have except he's just keeping track of himself at this point so he might have his Bible his science his history his math his language his piano or composer study or whatever it is that he has to include when I sit down I'm basically this is what we this is this is my intent and this is what I hope will work is that I'm gonna say this is what I expect you to have done you need to have lessons one through five done by the end of the week of whatever subject it is or you need to have this chapter done you know you need to have read two chapters out of this book by the end of the week he's I'm giving him to start out with the freedom to determine where and how he's going to plan this out. Do you want to do one math lesson every day? Do you want to do two math lessons, take a day off, do two math lessons, take a day off and do one math lesson? Whatever it is, I doubt my son is, my Gabriel is not a super overachiever. You know, why do what you can do today? Why not just leave it till tomorrow? It's kind of like his slogan. Like I shouldn't do that today. Um, maybe at some point it's going to um, realize that the sooner he gets things done that the sooner he's just done but it hasn't clicked yet so we are going to give it a whirl and I'm hoping that he'll plan accordingly maybe if I give him a little bit of independence an opportunity to determine how he wants to schedule out his week according to the things that he wants to do his lessons the different activities that he has going on he can plan out his day so it looks very similar to what I have but we're gonna sit down together I'm gonna share with him what my expectations are for the week and he's going to plan out his and he's going to actually have control over it. I do think I'm going to have to do some periodic looks into his planner making sure that he's actually doing it. Obviously I always look over his work and making sure that he has his things done but this might be something that I'm having to make sure that he's staying up on his planner. He's checking things off as he does it. So um it really just goes month by month. It's all very similar. Um let's see at the end uh, it does have the way to salvation. And then at the end, it just has some, trying to get this page open. Again, it has suggested scripture passages that he could memorize, things that he accomplished throughout the year, things that he loved, um, and then just some notes, paper. But again, he has the folders on each side as well. Same material, uh, laminated cardstock as well. So it seems to be pretty durable. So that's the plan. That's the loose plan, I guess, because I haven't really planned it out, but this is how I plan to plan and how I hope to have Gabriel plan out his year as well. Um, if you have any questions, if you want to see something a little bit more in depth, let me know. I'd be happy to do that for you guys. Um, I will keep you posted on to how this works, how I like it, having all of my planning all in one spot. I might love it. I might hate it. You know, um, I, I'm hoping that this works out well to just have everything all in one spot, but I will keep you posted and I will certainly keep you posted on the update with how Gabriel is faring with his own planning and taking a little bit of ownership in his own education. So if you guys have any questions as usual, I'm happy to answer them. And until next time guys, have a blessed day.